Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Amy, and welcome to Art Conspiracy. You're in for a treat today because we're, I'm away from my table, my usual spot, and I'm in the studio. Ta-da! The big studio. Um, in the rainy season, it, the roof leaks in here, so I don't, <laughs> I haven't been using it. Uh, anyway, I'm back and I wanted to show you the painting that I've been working on that I just finished. Um, this is it. And you get an idea of how big it is based on me. Um, anyway, uh, this is a portrait, a family portrait of one, two, three, four, five of us. Um, this is my grandson. This is my daughter. My two sons, and that's me in the background taking a picture of the group. So what you're looking at, I'll just give you a little inside information. Um, these two figures are in the front, sitting in this booth, and all of this is, you're looking at a mirror, a reflection in a mirror. And so you're looking back, and so these people are actually out here, and this background that you see through the window is way, way the heck out here. So you're looking at multiple worlds, and this painting took me a long time to do, not necessarily because it was really hard, but because I just got waylaid by other projects and it just sat in my studio for the longest time. And I'm gonna show you some of the stages of the process, which I think you'll find interesting. And then I'll come back in here and I will share with you my thoughts about how do you know when something is finished, which is a tricky question for an artist. And I do have some thoughts, of course, so um, hang on, and I'm going to show you some of the uh, process of this painting, beginning with the initial sketch and some of the phases uh, of the painting process. So hold on a second, right back. So here's the initial sketch, um, which I did on brown toned paper. And I had taken a couple photos of this scene. Um, that's me way in the back. Uh, taking some pictures and I thought this would make a really fun uh, painting and I had it sitting on my you know drawing table for a long time and I finally got to it and I wanted to show you uh, this bigger white piece is actually on the canvas so I'm transferring the information and I, I'm kind of showing you scale wise how big that sketch was compared to the actual painting so you can see I'm real I'm transferring that information onto a really bigger much bigger surface and when you do that it's you know it's a challenge for an artist and you have to really get back uh, use your arm use your whole body getting that uh, composition on there there's a reason why they make brushes with long handle you know uh, these are uh, this is acrylic painting so this is my underpainting and you can see I change my mind many many times as I sort this out and sometimes these lines play into the final image, these extra lines, but sometimes they just end up disappearing also because um, this is the underpainting. So a lot of this goes away um, as the process develops. Uh, so here I am laying in base colors and just figuring out sort of the main general areas of light and dark and warm and cool colors and everything's ballparking. You know, I don't wanna get it right too soon to tell you the truth, because I need a reason to build up the paint. And for me, making corrections and making shifts and changing my mind is a reason to do things on the painting and to, and to have it develop. So uh, my painting process is very much uh, an adventure and, and I don't exactly know how it's gonna go and I feel free to change my mind and I let the painting talk back to me and I, it's not just execution but it's, it's uh, you know, going on a, on a ride, you know, with, and a journey of sorts. And, and I love that. It can be a little scary too, but got to keep the faith. Um, anyway, here's another uh, developmental stage. Here's my son, Tim, back here has glasses on. You'll see later these glasses disappear. <laughs> um, things are coming and going and uh, we'll shift as we go along. This phase is interesting. Um, you'll see everything looks very pasty now and very white. And part of it is I am making some really big corrections with just white paint. White, white acrylic paint is very cheap and it's also uh, sort of a devoted uh, element so that I can make corrections. I'm not thinking about color, I'm just thinking about changing the form or changing the value, changing the light and dark. And then I can come in on top of that white with a glaze of color if I want it to stay light or I can mix thicker color and just come right on top of that. But 
for me, it's a great way to make some really big changes as I need to. Here we go. Uh, here's my son's uh, sunglasses have just appeared and so has his face as happens sometimes in these portraits. And you know, this is a very challenging portrait in part because I'm not doing realistic portraits of us. Believe it or not, that would be a little easier. At least I know what I'm going for, but I want to suggest these people. I want to suggest my children and my grandson and me without saying everything. So sometimes it's just a couple of lines that make the difference between happy and sad or old and young or you know, attitude. So I, I sometimes have to put in the features of a face multiple times, over and over and over. I put it in, take it out, move, move it, change it, and you know, just keep coming back. And, and I also work back and forth between very specific things, like the features on a face and the booth or the sky, which is very forgiving and easy, and it gets, sort of gives me a break mentally and physically from doing something that is a little bit more tedious. So painting is a very physical, physical uh, endeavor. Um, this is actually the finished piece, uh, which I will go back to now and talk about. Um, it's a little bit dark. I photographed it. It's hard to photograph something quite this big, um, but it, it's pretty, pretty close. Uh, there's a, still a few things I want to do, I have to admit, um, but that's, that's pretty typical. So back to the studio. So when do you know a painting is finished? I have often said to my students, I either run out of gas or run out of time, which means if it's for an exhibit or if it's a commission and, I, and I'm on a deadline, you know, you have to, you just have to be finished at the appointed hour. But sometimes you just sort of run out of gas or run out of steam on a project, but you have to leave it in an interesting place. And that's really the crux of it. That's the better answer is it's finished when you can get it to a really interesting place because it's never completely finished. There's never, you know, perfection where you couldn't do it better if you kept at it, but you, sometimes it's like you gotta move on. So you just make sure there's nothing that you can't live with, nothing egregious. Um, and you find it in an interesting place and I sign it and I sign it like not before I'm totally finished but when I'm getting really close. I sign it sort of throwing down the gauntlet and Sometimes I have taken paintings off the wall later and worked on them, but I just like to get them in an interesting place. And I think that's where I am with this one. Uh, I think it, it's doing what I want it to do. Uh, it's kind of interesting. Um, I think it reflects the attitudes of my people and me. So there you go. I was happy to have you in the studio today. Oh, there's also room to dance. Around here. That's the perfect break for uh, if you need a break from painting is to turn the music on and, and dance around. So anyway, highly recommend it. I will talk to you soon. Hope you like the painting. Amy at ourconspiracy.net. See you next time. <laughs>